Hey my, hi everyone and welcome to September 2015 Earth Predictions readings. This is supposedly going to be a big month astrologically if nothing else. So let's see what is coming up for the Earth Predictions series for the energies around Gaia or planet Earth and the people who reside on her. So let's see what comes out. We'll do this as a live reading. So, just a bit of a shuffle. Okay, first card, the stars. Well, when the stars arrives, I often think of looking up into space. Oh, well that's quite cool, isn't it? <laughs> because we were just talking about the fact that it's going to be big astrologically. We've got two eclipses, a supermoon, Mercury retrograde, among other things. So I think that straight away tells us that we're going to be all affected to varying degrees with events to do in our astrological life and that usually affects us emotionally as well as business related as well as thoughts and ideas on the planet movements people's you know mass feelings so people doing things in large groups protests and such like movement around the planet the other thing I think of when we see the stars is that um, we'll look up into the sky and we will see events occurring uh, that will be possibly new, new knowledge coming in, whether it's through technology, so more information about planets, their cycles, um, unusual information coming in about asteroids, all of that technological realm that we've been traversing and we may find out more information. As well we can often see things traverse the sky that perhaps we wouldn't normally so maybe it is a month where we see a few things in the sky such as comets, meteorites or asteroids as well as things coming down from the sky so let's hope this is not indicating any more plane issues. We do seem to have had a few ongoing plane issues in the last several months actually in fact it's been a year of plane related things um, moving on to the next card let's see what arrives the message I often think of this because it seems to relate to the sea I mean that's a fishing net with bits and pieces trapped in it so I somehow think of it looking very messy and washed up so things being washed up out of the sea or activity to do with the sea so perhaps more boat issues again and we're seeing them huge implications of the immigration of people around especially through parts of Europe trying to escape their own countries to, to forward and forge new lives for themselves in other countries which has its positives and negatives for everyone at all ends so there could be more of this drama going on as well as the possibility of um, animal issues because these are dead and dying fish here as well as things to do that mess up our sea so we could be thinking of volcanic activity in the sea or quake related activity or even possibly a tsunami as well as storms at sea so big cyclonic storm patterns that originate at sea and cause big sea swells high tides big tides because we've got a super moon as well the now card I definitely think of the Sun as being something that relates to the energy that is received from this card so I think of energetic interaction from the Sun down to us and interestingly enough it's pointing directly at this card often if we get a really big CME ejected at us or some sort of energetic mass magnetic storm towards earth it affects us in one way or another and often the formation of large cyclones or hurricanes can be one of those as well as earthquake related activity so that's what I think of with that card the sage it kind of ties in really well with this first card the stars it seems to be about seeking knowledge and he's got here almost the exact same shape that's being drawn over here so somehow there's a duplication or a replication of the messages involved here as if suggesting to us that yes looking up to the skies or something to do with the knowledge from the skies or the heavens is going to play a poignant part in September's 
journey for us and the energies that surround us. I also think the sage of being someone um, of quite high up on the globe, so it could be a political person or a religious leader who either brings something to our attention via his words or act actions. Sometimes I think of the Pope when this card comes out, so I wonder if Pope Francis will be in any sort of unusual news or doing something more than he normally would do. The other thing to watch out for, as I say, is political leaders. Um, Donald Trump, he might even be indicated in this somehow. It could be just something in the news about potential leaders or current leaders of countries. So the next card that we come to, I just have to move these along a little bit. The scales, back again, it was here for August's reading and it's back again for September's. It's definitely things out of balance. Now we're, I'm thinking to legal issues out of balance. We've seen it with America's, the gun law issues and this terrible um, shooting that's just happened on the 27th of August. The anchormen or people that were shot live on a TV while a TV show was being filmed. So there's issues we're needing to deal with to bring balance back into all of our lives, all of society, planet Earth in particular. Um, we can think of too the, this whole Europe migration, immigration issues with all the people fleeing their countries. That's another thing that really needs to be addressed somehow at some level so that the countries that are being inundated with them can't manage with all the extra people either and the people that are fleeing their own homelands they need somewhere to go so there'll be talk or there'll be some way of trying to address this situation I would think. So one last overall card for the month, liberation. That would be nice wouldn't it, some liberation and some freedom, perhaps that is what people are wanting, perhaps that's what they're pushing for. I do often think of Australia when this card comes out because of this big brown snake here. So whether or not Australia has some weather issues is quite often the case uh, when this one comes up. Sometimes flooding for Australia, big storms, as well as I see here flooding, raging waters and people escaping. So not necessarily just Australia, but we could see some really big floods. That makes sense when I talk about this card here too, the message card and the way our oceans and our seas actually um, establish these big violent weather patterns that flow around the, the earth. So there we are guys, there's our September reading for um, a quite anticipated or waited on month from many people's perspectives for many different reasons. I think the two most poignant cards are the stars and the sage. There's something quite um, big about the messages hidden within those two. So anyone who's got any other ideas, I'd love to hear them all. I love your thoughts and great to see you watching the series. It's really quite informative and an interesting way of looking at life around us. So take care everyone, have a great September. Kia kaha, ka kitea noa, much aroha.